everyone myself devi uh, i am working as assistant professor in the department of csc from hindustan college of engineering and technology today i discuss the topic as natural language processing first we have to see what are the contents what is mean by nlp now advantages and disadvantages of nlp components of nlp applications of nlp nlp terminologies steps in nlp or phases of nlp how to build an nlp pipeline so first we see what is nlp before we discuss about the nlp what is mean by language language means it is a method of communication between the two person or two human beings with the help of speak read and write so in the nlp language processing is a subfield of computer science that deals with artificial intelligence with enables computer to understand and process human language so nlp is the interaction of computer science linguistic and machine learning linguistic means language the field focus on communication between the computer and the human in natural language and nlp is all about making computers understand and generate human language till now we discussed about the nlp nlp means it is the interaction between the computer and the humans with uh, with the human language that's why we say it is called as nlp then advantages of nlp nlp helps user to ask question about any then disadvantages of nlp so the, the list of disadvantages of nlp is given below nlp may not show content not show content it is uh, unpredictable it may require more keystrokes so nlp is unable to adopt the new do domain and it has a limited functions that's why nlp is built for a single and specific task only the next topic is components of nlp there are the two different comp there are the two components of nlp one is natural language understanding another one is natural language generation the first we discuss about natural language understanding natural language understanding helps the machine to understand and analysis the human language by extracting the metadata from contents such as concept entities keywords emotion relations and semantic roles so uh, mainly we are focus mainly used in business application to understand the customer problem in both spoken and written then applications of nlp so where we have to apply this nlp means question and answering so question and answering focus on building system that automatically answer the question asked by the human in natural language example alexa second one is spam detection spam detection is used to detect unwanted emails getting to the user inbox then third one is machine translation machine translation used to translate a text or speech from own natural language to another natural language example google translator then spelling correction microsoft corporation provides a word processor software like ms word powerpoint for the spelling correction Uh, next one is speech recognition speech recognition is used for converting spoken words into text it is used in applications such as mobile home automation video recovery uh, detecting to a microsoft word voice biometrics voice user interface and so on chat box implementing the chat box is one of the important application of nlp it is used by many components to provide the customer chat service till now we have discussed about what is nlp then advantages and disadvantages of nlp components of nlp then applications of nlp the next topic is nlp terminology these are the terminologies we are using uh, in nlp first phone so the next one is steps in nlp or phases of nlp there are general five steps the first one is a lexical analysis second one is syntax analysis that is other name is called parsing third one is semantic analysis fourth one is discourse integration fifth one is pragmatic analysis first we discuss about lexical analysis so lexical analysis other name is called as morphological analysis it is the first phase of nlp in the lexical analysis this phase scans the source code as a stream of characters and converts into meaningful 
meaningful lexemes it divides the whole text into paragraph sentence and words second one is syntactic analysis or parsing syntactic analysis is used to check the grammar word arrangements and show the relationship among the words next one is semantic analysis semantic analysis is concerned with the meaning representation it is mainly focused on the literal meaning of words phrases and sentences fourth one is discourse integration discourse integration depends upon the sentence that proceed it and also invokes the meaning of the sentence that follow it fifth one is pragmatic pragmatic is the last phase of nlp it helps you to discover the intended effect by applying a set of rules and characterize cooperative dialogues for example open the door is interpreted as a request instead of an order so last topic we are discussed about steps in nlp these steps we have to apply how to build an nlp pipeline step 1 is sentence segmentation it is the first step for building the nlp pipeline it breaks the paragraphs into separate sentence then word tokenization word tokenizer is used to break the sentence into separate words or tokens third pipeline is stemming stemming is used to normalize words into the base form or root form for example celebrate celebrated and celebrating all these words are organized with the single root word celebrate the big problem with stemming is that sometimes it produces the root note which may not have any meaning fourth one lemmatization lemmatization is quite similar to the stemming it is used to group the different inflected forms of the word called lemma the main difference between stemming and lemmatization is that it produce is the root word which has a meaning for example in the lemmatization the word intelligence intelligent and intelligently as a root word intelligent which has a meaning step 5 identifying the stop words in english there is a lot of words that appear very frequently like is and the and yeah nlp pipeline will flag these words as a stop words stop words might be filtered out before doing any statistical analysis example he is a good boy we have to split a stop word is a sixth step is dependency parsing dependency parsing is used to find that how all the words in the sentence are related to each other then seventh one is pos tag pos tag means stands for parts of speech which includes noun verb adverb and adjective it indicates that how a word function which is a meaning as well as grammatically with the sentence a word has one or more parts of speech based on the context in which it is used example google something on the internet in the above example google is a, as a verb although it is as a pro, proper noun eighth one is named entity recognition named entity recognition is the process of detecting the named entity such as person name movie name organization name or location example steve jobs introduced iphone at the mac world conference in san francisco california step 9 chunking chunking is used to collect the individual piece of information and group Thank you all.